Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Gabrielle and today I'm doing a sort of a tag, not really a tag, but an, a, an idea that was created by Betty Bean here on YouTube. I will leave her video linked. I also saw Kara C do this video and I think that is why I'm wearing blue eyeshadow. <laughs> I think she like inspired me to wear blue eyeshadow and I'm really happy. This video is me. This video is in fact me. This video is if I had to declutter an eyeshadow palette from each brand, which one would I declutter? And so specifically what that means is like if you have more than one, like at least two eyeshadow palettes from these brands, which one would you declutter? You could even like Kara C switch this up a little bit. She said, I am only doing the brands that I have three from. For me, I'm just going to do two and up. I think that gives a more beefy video. It was hard, but not super hard. I guess because I know they're not really going anywhere. I mean, some of them I am kind of thinking about decluttering. I haven't decluttered my palettes in a long time, but a lot of these I I love, so I don't want to repeat myself. I, I love this palette. I love this palette. Like, <laughs> if you're interested in hearing about the palettes that I would declutter in this made up situation here then hang out and subscribe and we will start so this isn't really in any particular order i just kind of have my pile here the first brand is going to be give me glow and i have two palettes from them and both of those palettes were gifts from my mom i do love both of the palettes um, but I think the one that I would get rid of, which I don't want to get rid of this one, but I would get rid of the Juicy Olive palette. I have this palette and the Vintage Rose. Yeah, Vintage Rose. So I just think that Vintage Rose would kind of give me more variety than this one. This is just a monochromatic green palette. And I do obviously love greens and I do really like these tones of green. These shimmers are amazing. But I think the Vintage Rose does have green in it. So I wouldn't be like, oh my god, like no, I have no greens from Give Me Glow. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's something that I would be <laughs> saying but yeah I just think that I, I do love this palette but I think that it would still be kind of sufficed with the vintage rose staying in my collection. The next one you guys can let me know if I'm cheating on this. This is Midas but I'm also including their sister brand Estico which doesn't exist anymore but Midas also is closing down. I don't know if they've already closed down or when that is happening. So yeah, I'm just also including Estico in here. I guess I can give an alternative answer at the end. Palette that I would declutter from Midas slash Estico is the 1UP Quad from Estico. And this is very cute. I really love the theming of this. This was in collaboration with Neon MUA. It's fine, you know, like I think that the color story is fine. The formula of the shadows is nice. These shimmers don't blow me away at all. And I think that I really just got sucked into the theming at the end of the day here. This wasn't an expensive palette at all. And I think I just really loved the whole video game aspect of this palette. And it's not bad by any means. I just think that I know why I bought it. You know, so I think this is would be the one that I would have to declutter because I kind of forget to use it already. And for my alternative answer, so the palette that I would get rid of from Midas is the Lemonade palette. And I don't want to get rid of this palette. I would just get rid of it because I think the formula of the yellows, like, I've had better you know, and I, I think that these are fine and they still like are good for what they are. I just think that this isn't the most mind-blowing yellow eyeshadows in my collection. That's just my humble opinion and the shimmers are like, they're fine. I just think that the other palette I have from Midas, which is the Smoky Glow palette, it kind of has more of a variety. Again, I feel like that's the common theme here is I would keep the palettes that have more variety, whether it's their color story or like their textures in their palettes. I just think that the Lemonade one is still good. It's just like a little one-noted and it's not the best thing I've ever tried, you know. On to Nabla. I will tell on myself by saying that the palettes I have from Nabla, I don't use either of them enough 
or at all and I'm kind of wondering if I should still keep them because I'm trying to get out of the habit of keeping things just because they're good because I do that a lot it's like keep it because you use it not because it's good so the palette that I would declutter from Nabla in this scenario is the cutie palette specifically the wild berry palette because it's like why did I tell myself I like purples enough to get a six pan palette and again this is a pretty decent formula and everything like that i'm not the biggest fan of like satin eyeshadows which this one is here and i mean this is a pretty color story i just think that i'm getting better now at going oh that's pretty and doing nothing about it like i'm trying to get better at that like not just buying something because it's pretty because it's like yeah it's pretty but would you use it and so with this the answer was no we all know that purple is not my favorite color i think it's useful to have in a collection like i'm not here to get rid of all my purple eyeshadows but yeah this one i think i could have just left it in the drafts it's not bad it's not bad. These shimmers actually look really pretty. I mean, the shimmers are cute, but yeah, I do kind of want the cutie palette coral. I do think that that color story fits me a lot more than the wild berry. I think I just got sucked into the hype of this one. Next is melts, and I have three palettes from melts, and the one that I would declutter is the Mary Jane. I think that this palette is fine. The mattes are incredible, but this palette only has four mattes. This is a very shimmer heavy palette and I just don't love melt shimmers enough to justify this purchase. I kind of wish that I knew that going into this, kind of really like talked to myself there, but I think that I just got sucked into the tones of the mattes. I really thought they were pretty and I do think that they are pretty and they perform beautifully just yeah i think that i wish that the shimmers were a little more special i think that they're still pretty i know that a lot of people really hated the shimmers and i personally don't it, this is one of those palettes where it's like yeah i guess i'm happy i have it but do i kind of wish that i didn't get it yeah <laughs> but i but i at the same time i do kind of like it you know like it's kind of like a toss-up for me but i just love gemini way too much to ever give that up. If I had to declutter all from Melt and keep one, I would keep Gemini. And I do like Vita. I think that Vita, again, is more colorful, bright, kind of has a little more of a purpose. I guess I just prefer Melt palettes that have way more mattes than Gemini's. Um, which is fine, you know, mattes are their sweet spot. But yeah, I don't hate Mary Jane. I know that this palette got mixed reviews, but if I had to declutter one from Melt, it would be Mary Jane. All right, next is Kaleidos. The palette that I would declutter from Kaleidos is the Futurism 4, the VR Neon palette. I know this palette is discontinued. And again, I would it would hurt me to get rid of this one because I do think that this is a very fun, just kind of party, summer kind of palette. You know, I also think that this would work really well for like Day of the Dead or something. I guess I just don't reach for it enough. And if I'm, since I'm getting rid of Mary Jane from Mel in this scenario, I'm keeping Vita and I feel like this palette is pretty similar to Vita. I think that there is a purpose in having both if you just really love makeup. <laughs> I think that I could just get away with not using this one, but it would it would hurt me. It would hurt me especially since I can depot these and kind of use them in like a bit build your own palettes and stuff. And I do think that it is useful. Again, I don't like orange, but I, there's the, I have one orange. How many more oranges do I need? You know, so I think that that is purposeful. But yes, and the shimmers are beautiful. Like you can see how textured these shimmers are in the pan. But this would be the one that I would get rid of. Next is Odin's Eye, and I don't dislike this palette at all. I think it's very nice. It's just when I compare it to the other palette I have, I like the other palette more. The color story fits my needs more. So the one that I would declutter is the hummingbird palette i don't want to get rid of this palette at all this is in collaboration with the fancy face i just think that the red dragon palette which is the other odin's eye palette that i have just is a little more me than this one this is super colorful but i do really love the variety of tones in here i do think that this is a very unique color story and the shimmers are really nice i just love odin's eyes eyeshadows in general but 
this is the one that I would get rid of if I had to, but I don't want to. I do really want the Hella palette. I, I kind of saw it at first and I was like, mm, do I need it? But I just keep wanting it more and more. I might get it at the last minute or something because I'm kind of trying not to buy anything right now, but that is a palette that will be in my collection at some point. Next is Unearthly Cosmetics, formerly known as Alien Cosmetics. Their name change reminds me of Demi Lovato. <laughs> like when they said aliens is a slur. So call them ETs. Like did Unearthly Cosmetics hear that and go damn it is. <laughs> the palette that I would declutter from them is the Strawberry Milkshake palette. I need to be real with myself. I bought it because of the fucking packaging, okay? Like, I do like the color story, but I just don't use this enough to justify fucking having it, you know? And, you know, you would think that I would use this a lot because there's reds and greens in here and things, but I don't know. I just kind of reach for the other ones in my collection, and I wish that, like, the shimmers were a little more special. The other palette I have from them is a Serendipity palette. And there's like a really beautiful shimmer in that one to where that just upped this over this one. And even then, I think the Serendipity palette, I got sucked into the packaging because they do really beautiful packaging. And I do like their color stories. I just don't use this enough. I should dip into this. I, I really should dip into this. Why Why am I like this? From Ace B. Tay, I have quite a few palettes from Ace B. Tay. Some of them were gifts. And I feel bad because this one is a gift. But if I had to declutter a palette, I would declutter the Scarlet Dusk palette. I think we can see why I would declutter this, right? I mean, it's mo it's like purples and oranges. <laughs> Literally the colors that I never fucking use, the colors that I always talk shit about. I mean, there's some pinks in here and some mauves, and the quality of this palette is good. I'm pretty sure this is from their older formula. And I didn't hate their older formula, but their newer formula is definitely like a lot fucking better, you know? But I don't hate their older one enough to like repurchase them. I think that I'll just stick it out. But yeah, I just don't use this. You know, looking at this color story, I just look at it as a bunch of colors that I wouldn't use. I might end up decluttering this one day. It's not horrible. It's not ugly. It's none of that. It's just I don't. I don't levitate towards this palette. Next is Shroud Cosmetics. And this palette that I would declutter is a palette that I kind of want to declutter. Like in real life. It's the Arcana palette. I just don't feel anything towards this palette like I used to. Like I really haven't used it much and even looking at it I'm just kind of like okay. I mean it's pretty. You know there's blues and there's greens and I see there's a couple of neutrals in here. I just don't reach for this and like the shimmers aren't really very special either. The mattes are good. I mean Shroud does make really nice matte eyeshadows. You know sometimes you look at a palette and you're like I should reach for this more. You know why don't I? And then you kind of fall in love with it again. I don't see it happening with this. I always forget and I always just kind of look at it as wasted space. So yeah this is the one that I would definitely <laughs> declutter. Next is BH Cosmetics and this is similar to Nabla where the palettes that I own from them I don't really use any of them enough and the palette I would declutter from BH is the Blueberry Muffin. This was hard because for one thing I do like this palette and I wasn't sure which one I could live without more than the other. The other one I have is the Sweet Shop Cherry on Top palette. I just think that these are tones that I could get into if I'm in the mood, but I have to be in the mood, you know what I'm saying? Where those sweet shop, I, I do love reds, even though I feel like those eyeshadows lean a little bit more coral sometimes. I do like the looks that I create when I use this. I do think that the mattes in here perform fine, you know, they're, they're good. They're good mattes. I think this is just another one of those palettes where I got sucked into the hype and I was just kind of like, oh, let me see what it's about, especially because it's not very expensive. But I just don't really reach for this a whole lot. But there are some nice colors in here. I'm gonna go live from my phone because I don't feel like turning my computer back on. I forgot two brands, which are Menagerie and Lunar Beauty. So the palette that I would declutter from Menagerie is the Pastel Pup palette. I have this palette and the Whale Song and there's just no way I'm getting rid of the Whale Song. I love those tones so much. And pastels, 
I just don't use a ton. I'm happy to have them in my collection as a resource, but I feel like even if I would get rid of this one, I would still have the Creepy Cute from Shroud, and I just don't know if I would be missing this at all, because this has more colors than Creepy Cute, but I don't know if I would be like, oh no, I really need Ice Cap or, or something, so I would try to keep it for the packaging. Like, I really need to stop letting packaging sucker me in because it's like, look at this cute little seal. But anyways, yes, this would be the one I would declutter from Menagerie. And the one that I would declutter from Lunar Beauty is the Eternal Eclipse. I do love this palette and I don't want to get rid of it. I just think that I prefer the bottom two rows here more than anything. Like there's nothing really wrong with this row. I just think that these two are like what, what I really go to, like the mattes. I think that these are beautiful shades of neutrals here. And I do really love the addition of like blues and grays in this palette, but I just think that my Strawberry Dream has a little more variety even with there being a couple purples in there. And I just think that those tones of pink in the Strawberry Dream are very cute and feminine and I love them. This is a good palette. I don't want to get rid of it, but if I had to, this would go. I have three more palettes. The palette that I would declutter from Dose of Colors is the I Love Sarahi palette. Because between this and Friendcation, why would I get rid of Friendcation, you know? And this is a pretty color story. I, it's simple and I like it for what it is, but this is just another one again where I would use Friendcation over this any day. I kind of got sucked into this glittery black here, but when you use it on your eyes, it does kind of blend into more of a matte. And I don't really think that there's anything wrong with this palette, and I could probably reach for this as more of an everyday palette, like for work or something. But as it stands right now, I don't really use this a lot. This was definitely an impulse purchase. <laughs> From ColourPop, I feel like I might get some shit for this answer because this palette is very beloved and I do think that it's pretty and I don't necessarily want to get rid of it but it's the palette from Colourpop that kind of gets me the least excited and I don't have that many Colourpop palettes just out of all the ones that I have is the Lush Life. And again I do think that this palette is pretty. I do think that this is just kind of a very juicy palette like perfect for summer even like the really light shades like echo here they kind of look a little bit deeper when you apply them on the eyes so i think that that's cool and i do think that you know this has some really nice colors in here i think it's just that when i compare this to at forest sight or the baby yoda palette or even the blow and smoke palette i think the blow and smoke palette has a place in everybody's collection to be honest I just think that it's a good resource to have. Even comparing it to High Tide, which is what I'm wearing with Watermark on my eyes today. High Tide is so fun, even though it's so monochromatic, it's so different. Like, I don't know, I just love High Tide so much. And this came, came out around the same time as High Tide. I just, yeah, I, I've made my point. <laughs> I've made my point. Finally, the palette that I would get rid of from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. I've been using this more. I've mentioned like almost a year ago at this point that I never use Modern Renaissance and I think it's kind of overhyped. Then I started to use it more and I do think that this is a good palette. Even if you just use this neutral quad quad even if you just use this neutral quad right here, I think that you could get a beautiful soft look if that's what you're into. I just, why would I get rid of the Jackie Aina palette? Like, why would I get rid of the Jackie? It's so much richer, it's so much more versatile than this one. And I do like this one. I don't necessarily want to get rid of it, even though a year ago I probably would have been like, eh, that could go. And I think that's why I don't do declutters as much, is because I'm scared I'll regret it. If I had to, I would choose this to go over Jackie Aina. But I do think that this is nice years later. I don't even know how long I've had this. I don't remember buying it. Is that weird? I don't remember buying this. I don't remember if I got it in store or online. I, I really don't remember. Also, Jackie Aina doesn't have this velvet packaging to where it gets dirty if you look at it. Okay. So yeah, I think that's, I mean, that is all the palettes that I had 
to talk about here. Those are all the brands where I have at least two palettes from saying which ones I would declutter. And I don't think that I could do the video where I flip this on its head and say which one would I keep because I kind of already said which ones I'd keep in this video. There's not that many brands where I have at least three palettes from. I'm just trying to be a bit more of a smart shopper because some of these I could definitely live without. But some of these I don't want to get rid of and I'm glad that this is not a real situation here. Definitely let me know if you have palettes that you would declutter that you don't want to or which palettes you would keep from each brand. I would love to hear your responses and if you make videos you know obviously feel free to do this video. It wasn't my idea it was Batty Beans but yes. With all that said I guess I bid you farewell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Gabrielle Rizza and thank you so much for watching. You've been a lovely audience and I'll talk to you later. Thank you.